My name is Marvin Smaz, and I'm the owner of the Space Needle. And to commemorate the 35th anniversary of the World's Fair, we unveiled a new mascot with the kind of funny kooky name of the Sneedle. Say it. Sneedle. It's cute. Here was the big unveiling. Of course, some of the public has been critical, saying he's not very creative, and that he's kind of grotesque and frightening to small children. It's so easy to criticize. So very easy. But if some of you high and mighty people had been there for the auditions for our mascot, you would have seen the miserable lot we had to choose from. Anytime you're ready. Welcome to Fia. Yeah, sure. Okay, and you are? I am the Sphida. Next, please. Excuse me. What? What was the name of your character? I'm the Peedle. Next. Uh, and who are you folks supposed to be? Well, we're the Captain and Tenedle. Okay, next. Uh, Hi, I'm Doodle the Space Needle Clown, uh -huh. and I twist balloons with the shape of male and female genitalia. <laughs> Get in touch with you. What, circumcised or uncircumcised? Just leave your phone number. So the Sneedle doesn't look so bad. Plus, he's the only one who auditioned who was able to revolve his head all the way around in about an hour. <laughs> so you better get used to the name. Gonna be around a long time. Sneedle. Sneedle, 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 Thank you. As you can hear, it's an excited crowd. They're a happy crowd. <laughs> but y'all know that there's a little fear and trepidation. You can tell because they're anticipating, you know, the big change tomorrow. Tomorrow, as you know, a whole bunch of people in the greater Seattle area will say goodbye to the 206 area code. <laughs> Thing that, yes. We're going to have, I don't know, five or six new area codes tomorrow, depending on where you live. It used to be that on this side of the mountains, we needed only one area code. They ran out of numbers because now everybody's got two or three phone lines going into their houses for computers and faxes and all that. And so we have to create this turmoil and change a bunch of numbers, all so people can continue to download topless pictures of Terry Hatcher. Yeah! East of the mountains, phone system still very simple. Pick up the earpiece, give the phone to <laughs> Frank, with the operator. Hello, Clara, this is Vern, hi. Could you send me some topless pictures of Terry Hatchett? Okay, how's the family? All right. So, now there's all this confusion about who has what area code, what's long distance, how do you dial. So to help sort out all the confusion, if you can just bring the map out here, I want to explain the new area codes with this new area code map. Now, most of Seattle, <laughs> most of Seattle is going to stay 206, but there, some areas will change. Now there is a new 113 area code in Magnolia area right here. It's Perkins Lane is in that right there. <laughs> So that's the new area code. However, when it rains, those houses will slide right back into the 206 area code. So don't worry about that if there's any concern at all. Also, in the Capitol Hill area of Seattle, which is right here, the Capitol Hill area, they are going to get a new area code, pound 69. That's a, so. 
It's just for Capitol Hill. Mark that. A few people right now are writing it down. Mark it down in your little black patent leather book. Right? <laughs> Out here in the Microsoft area, the area that encompasses Microsoft will have their own area code. However, it will not be released until fall of 98. So. Yeah. Now, in this area out here, past Monroe, in this area, way past here, the, the boonies out, out here, they'll be getting a new area code. We don't know what it will be yet, but the phone company has promised that it won't have any sixes or sevens because those are so hard to pronounce when you don't have any front teeth. So that's, uh, don't worry <laughs> about that. It's going to be taken care of down here. The, the hilltop area of Tacoma will have a new area code 911. So, Should be a fairly easy transition since it's yeah. the most commonly called number. <laughs> anyway, so actually, there's another interesting one. All Thai restaurants in Seattle will share a common area code. You just hit five stars. So it's very, <laughs> it's very interesting. Now, Mercer Island, uh, right here, Mercer Island will have a new area code, but it's unlisted. We don't know what we have. Now, there are going to be two or three new area codes on the east side, according to what we read in the paper. There, of course, have been some arguments about it. Bellevue ended up drawing the boundaries. And, of course, the main goal in the south was to, they, they cut out Renton. They just, like, down there, they <laughs> do that. There's a very clear line there. They just put down there, let them share the area code with Kent there. That's, uh, but up north, however, they got very creative. Of course, they, they cut out Bothell, but they... <laughs> stretch the boundary because there's that little really nice Italian restaurant up there so they just <laughs> stretch the boundary there and just carry on there so it's kind of an interesting one there just got that one in there I'm sure the east side will have more area codes in the future because it's such a hot area the hottest real estate market in the country they say but it's not just the real estate you've got you've probably read that the east side has become a major area for tourism now if you're interested in making a trip over there we have a very interesting travel video to show you Welcome to the East Side. We're glad you came to visit. Fix your hair. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Getting to the East Side is a snap. Just hop onto either of our two quick, convenient bridges. You'll be here in no time. And don't worry, our bridges hardly ever stop. Here's the building that's on the National Registry of Historical Places. It's where, in 1976, the very first liposuction in Bellevue was performed. <laughs> and you'll love the East Side's thriving arts community. Here are some things you probably didn't know about the East Side. The architectural style in Kirkland is classified as postmodern upper <laughs> Issaquah has a daycare center where every child is named Brooke. A powerful pump keeps West Lake Washington water from ever touching East Side land. <laughs> Redmond is known worldwide as the birthplace of beauty bar. And the word Medina comes from an Italian word meaning gray designer sweaters. <laughs> For raw, scenic beauty, nothing compares to Redmond's magnificent crane forest. Only plenty of film. The East Side is home to world-famous Microsoft. Let's watch the busy programmers at work. Redmond, you'll see our famous gated communities with scenic names like Running River Rock Ridge, River Rock Running Ridge, Ridge Rock River Run, and Ridge 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 Rock Ridge Rock. The East Side, the most wonderful place on earth. You're not going to wear that, are you? <laughs> We are back here 
And as you know, there's a strange excitement going through the studio tonight, and that can mean only one thing. It's time once again for a visit from a great entertainer, a great humanitarian, and my personal friend for over 55 years. Ladies and gentlemen, stand by for Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Today. Well, John, you know, I'm just happy to be here. Well, let's let the tumultuous applause die down so they can even hear us. These folks love you, Bill. You know, gosh, we're, we're happy to have you here. John, it's so good to be here. Yeah, I you know. We're just excited, as we always are. We want to know what wonderful stuff have you brought us uh, tonight. Let's, let's just... Oh, take... well, John, John, uh, let me show you. Okay, uh, well, you know, uh, good. Come bring it right out here on the uh, table, the table you may That's right, the it. old worn-out blue prop table of science, yes, I yes, believe it is. Yes, yes. John. <laughs> Great. It uh, dates back to the Carter administration. Yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah, Cliff Lenz did a lot of stuff Cliff on this Lenz. table, I'm sure, Cliff yes. Lenz, an older reference. All right. Uh, John. Lost on the younger viewers. Yeah. All right. What do you got for us, Bill? You know, King. I know. Anyway, Bill, Seattle. usually, now let me just say that usually when you come here, you've got a lot of bells, a lot of whistles, a lot of scientific equipment. Looks today like you just brought uh, groceries. So I have to say, <laughs> I'm a little nervous about this. Well, John, groceries are science. Well, that's maybe where you shop. <laughs> maybe where you shop, Bill. I don't know. Yeah, John, I want you to think safety. I don't know. Okay. I want you to think safety, and I want you to think fragility, John. I want you to think about right. something fragile. My ego. All right, well, especially. Well, John, I'll take your word for it on that. I don't know. Okay. Think again. John. Oh, I see. You're sort of prompting me here. An egg. Yes, Would it be an, an egg. egg. All right, John. Okay, an great. An egg is fragile. You ready? That's right. So. Three, two, oh, one. Countdown and everything. Okay. So we've proved a very important uh, scientific principle there. That the, Oh, good. And so stay tuned. After the show, the audience is going to get uh, Bill's famous... 12 omelet, uh, 12, egg, 12 egg, egg omelets omelet. yeah. of science, whatever. Well, John, what I'm saying is an egg dropped from that high And breaks. it broke, That's okay, so yeah. another fascinating discovery well, John, from we're here Bill to talk Nine. about safety, we're here to talk about bags, we're here to talk about airbag safety. Okay. See? This is a bag. Yes, it is. It is? A, it's an a airbag. Bag. Okay, an airbag. it's yeah. an airbag. I'll see it with this piece of tape here. But for a minute, I thought it was going to be like an air distress bag there, the way you no, held well, it. No, well, John, that's another story. Okay, so we're taping a bag now. now this is, John, this is as good as it gets. Bag. We're going to poke a couple holes in oh. it. These will be vent holes. Okay. They might even be, dare I say it, vent oh, holes man. of... Poke the hole! <laughs> of science. Oh, my. Or the science okay. pencil. John, right. what's the... Come on, we're there. Right, I don't know what it is. I get yeah, There we go. Now, John, on, this is yeah. an egg. This, as you oh, see, is look. not an ordinary egg. It's like a little crash test dummy it's egg. It's a crash test egg. <laughs> All right, see that? Is that, is that sticker a Bill Nye product there? Uh, no, no, it's from Morton. Uh, the same guys who make salt, they make the propellant for airbags. Okay. Okay. Uh, this That's little great. rocket fuel, no joke. All right, okay. Like Morton Thicol. Like, <laughs> like, three, two, one. Oh, it didn't, it didn't break. All right. Don't you didn't break, yeah. Suppose you want to drop something heavy. Oh, uh, so we got a cantaloupe. This would be a crash a test crash cantaloupe. Test cantaloupe. Do it? No, sure, I see you've and got the... Yes, uh, this is a grocery bag, which oh. I have, as we say in the business, prepared earlier. Okay. We're these are little uh, streamers in front of the vent hole, right there. <laughs> I want you to take note of those, because when right. we drop the cantaloupe, three. Oh, okay, all right. Three, two, one. Oh, I see. So... You say... Well, that's very... I know what you're thinking, John. That's great, Bill, but you know, I kind of... You've dropped an egg and a cantaloupe, and I mean, I love it when you come by. Don't yeah. get me wrong, yeah. but I was sort but of... you're thinking... I was really hoping for something a little, a little more. Well, John, so. that's, that's good. That's okay, good, what because we've got something bigger right back here. Please, please come okay. with me. Come All with right. me. Going back. Take your mark right there, if you would. Wow, that and was I have a, here... Um, quite an, uh, what do you... Oh, wow. This great. Be, there are a lot of bags yes, here. Yes, these would be the yard waste bags. Yeah? Of science. Okay. Now you can see how lightweight they are. There's oh, nothing yeah, in here, John. Great, boy. But air. Well, they love you at the grocery store, don't they? You're just like. Uh, oh, I, think I got these at the hardware store, but oh, it's very okay, similar. Great. Yeah. So you see these? You little see the air coming out there, right there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right. See so what are you right? going to drop on this, Bill? Well, John, we need something big. Okay. Something heavy. What are you getting at here, Bill? <laughs> thought maybe we. Thought maybe we drop you, John. Oh, that's exciting. Well. If well, you would, um, can you go up here? 
Well, you know, Bill, based on the... Uh, perfectly safe. Uh, based on the type of uh, the things that have happened in your experiences, I mean, in your experiments in the past, I'm not real happy about I this. I want you to but, suit up. If you oh, oh, so I'm now the... Uh, okay, great. No, I'm not... I'm not. All right. A crash test harder. dummy here. Oh, this is... Yeah, now... Uh, boy, I, did, yeah, I knew my career would end up somewhere like this. John, and, what we want you to do... Yeah. I say we, of course. Okay. You've got to look at the spot. Okay. You look at the spot, and you'll land on the spot. You yeah. Know? Just take oh, this a look is at just the spot, so, and then so let yourself go this. and kind of a, and kind oh, of sit thing. So that's what you want me to do? Like yeah. Because you, you just got to just All right, go Bill. for it. Gosh. Perfectly <laughs> safe, John. Okay, well... Yeah. Ready? Okay. We're begging for it, John. Report. Well, the mother of a 16-year-old Vancouver, Washington girl is suing Nordstrom's for wrongly detaining her daughter and handcuffing her in full view of the public. The store has apologized and told them to bring the handcuffs in for a full refund. <laughs> At a press conference earlier this week, it was announced that college basketball star Kate Starbird from Tacoma has signed to play for the Seattle Reign of the American Basketball League next season. However, there is some concern about how well she will fit into, pro, into Seattle's pro basketball scene since not only did she arrive to the press conference on time, she also seems to be happy with her salary. <laughs> Sultan High School held an event yesterday called Kiss a Pig for Kids to raise money for next year's graduating class. The idea came from a student who observed that a lot of Sultan people like kissing pigs anyway, so why not make some money doing it? Psychic Yuri Geller has offered to help negotiate for the freedom of a Spokane man who is being held hostage in India. Geller said that if he can't win the, uh, if he can't free the man, he can at least bend the spoons of his captors and make it really awkward for them to eat. <laughs> Hillary Rodham Clinton called the governor and Mrs. Locke to express concern over the bat that they chased out of their bedroom. <laughs> Mrs. Clinton said that over the years, she has chased many things out of the president's bedroom, <laughs> but never a bat. The University of Washington is now requiring that entering students must prove a knowledge of linear, quadratic, polynomial, logarithmic, and exponential functions and their applications. However, if you can throw a football 60 yards, you can skip the linear, quadratic, polynomial, logarithmic, and exponential <laughs> On Monday, the Seattle Center introduced a new mascot called Sneedle to commemorate the 35th anniversary of Seattle World's Fair. On a sadder note, later that day, the lifeless body of the Weedle was found face down in the Seattle Center Fountain. It's very sad. King County officials are studying the possibility of a 311 telephone line for non-emergencies to reduce the burden on emergency 911 lines. In a related story, local 911 lines have been flooded with calls by people asking when the new 311 line will take effect. <laughs> Finally, the Aproveco uh, Research Center in Cottage Grove, Oregon is experimenting with making buildings out of materials like straw bales and recycled tires. If successful, they plan to build a model town that they will call Fife. This has been the Late Report. to conduct a test of our emergency system. This is only a test. Help me! Oh, God! Somebody help me! This concludes this test of our emergency system. Well, that's... 
That's uh, just about all the time we have this week. Bill, you got any exciting things coming up on oh, the... Oh, yes, the John. Show? Yes, yes, yes. You know, Earth Day. Yeah. Shook hands with Al Gore. Yes. Is that Tomorrow right? Tomorrow morning, Sunday on another network, 8 in the morning, Al Gore's on the show. On He's your on show. The Science all right. Show. Well, very exciting. Don't so don't miss it if you can. Yeah. So if you figure out... What about you? What exactly? Now, what is his energy source? What powers? Did you find the controls to Al? It seems limitless, but let me say control. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you next week.